Getty Stephen Naismith would love a return to Rangers The Ibricks club paid Kilmarnock £2 million for the striker a decade ago, but he walked out after they slid into administration in 2012, heading first to Everton and then Norwich City. Now why recovered from ankle ligament damage he sustained during a training accident with Scotland teammate Grant Hanley in August, he doesn't appear to be in manager Daniel Fark's plans at Carrow Road and would love the opportunity to play at Ibrox again. Unfortunately, the way I left Rangers WASNT great, said the 31-year-old, I still all their games on TV and speak to the players and staff I know at the club, I love hearing how things are going, I still support Rangers and I want them to do well. Coming back to Scotland, there would be clubs I would prefer to play with. It's not going to be about finances, it will be about what I think is the right fit for me. First of all, you need people at the clubs to want you and you need to see what options are available. A return to Rangers would appeal. I've spoken in the past about Kilmarnock and Rangers and being appreciative for what they did for me as a player. Stephen Naismith A return to Rangers would appeal. I've spoken in the past about Kilmarnock and Rangers and being appreciative for what they did for me as a player. I would look at those clubs and see if there were options to start with. Naismith's hopes might be helped by the fact he has a close relationship with Graham Murdy, who has been in temporary charge of Rangers since Pedro Tyshena was sacked 54 days ago. It's hard for Mertz, he said. He was at Norwich before so I've had some dealings with him and he's a great coach. It's a very difficult situation for him. He's done well in terms of dealing with it all but it's hard for everyone involved. Rangers need to make the right appointment and, when that time is right, they will do. The club just needs to move forward, whether that's with him in charge or if they find a suitable candidate to take over. Naismith believes he could assist Murdy, or any new manager, by helping develop the club's young talent. Getting A. Smith's future at Norwich appears to be in doubt I said, I'm passionate about passing on the knowledge I have because I was grateful when I was younger that older players would give me the time of day. Meanwhile, Naismith is in favor of moving Scotland games around the country. The SFA has been in discussions with Queen's Park over the Hampton lease, which ends in 2020. There have been a few games where I read thought the atmosphere was incredible, said Naismith, who has 45 caps, but if everything was right they should move, we have some great stadiums, we could use. You need the people who are in control of these stadiums to have Scottish football in the back of their mind rather than just their own agenda, and that's pretty tough in football, but if everything was right you could create a good system where you are using pittery, the two Edinburgh clubs, Celtic, Rangers, even Kilmarnock if it's back on grass, it holds a decent crowd and gives a great atmosphere. Naismith was promoting Loaves Fishes, a charity working in Glasgow, North and South Lanarkshire to provide meals, food parcels, clothes and toiletries to those in need.